Alrighty guys, welcome back. Another day of shooting. If you've seen the last video, I was doing 70 meters. I'm going to do 70 meters again, see if I make any improvements because I was just starting to get the, the flow going in that last um, that last end. So let's see if I can continue it on. Let's see how we go. So 70 meters on a 122 centimeter face. Let's see how we go. I don't have the, I forgot my memory card, so I don't have a camera on the target for you. It sucks, but that means I get my tripod back so I can uh, use my spot and scope. So let's get into it. Spider to start. So what I'm working in it on is the Dudley check-in and not changing me form during me shot by lifting my arm up and down. Ooh. Oh no, it's still a 10. I was in there as well. What a difference the old Dudley check-in makes with um, a good bow arm. Oh, it's a bit high that one. Oh, I think I'm on the line though. Started low, my bow arm was low then. So, start good form the whole way through. Oh, I just wobbled that one off too much of it. The nine liner. I just pushed it out. Right in the last minute of the shot, I just pushed it. I keep that tension the same. That one felt good. And she was in there. Wow, what a group that was. I'm gonna have to take a picture for Instagram for that one. Instagram that bad boy. So what a difference that I'm just, so what I'm working on is making sure that my frame doesn't move. Cause what I had a bad habit, I'd start low. So just so I'd come to full draw and I'd be below the target. So then I'd lift my bow arm up. And as soon as I lift my bow arm up, my whole frame went out of shape. So what I'm concentrating on now is making sure that I'm pretty much on the target when I get to full draw. So then I'm not changing my form, changing my bow arm around. That's definitely helping. And the Dudley check-in, that's my big problem too, not pulling too hard. I can tell in the drawback sometimes. When I'm pulling back, I'm like pulling back so much power. So now I'm just worrying about not having too much. Just Dudley checking in. We're good to go, but how's this for an end? The old 59. God, oh, gotta be happy with that. Let's get a picture, eh? Oh, 
All right, a couple of pictures for the old Instagram. And we'll be good to go. All right, so yeah, pretty happy with that. that. Two X's, three tens, and a nine, that dodgy one. If it wasn't for that, it'd be pretty good. It's pretty good anyway. And I've definitely got my sights set in now. Let's go back and see if it was a fluke. Let's see if I can do it again. Let's work on that nice relaxed bow arm. Everything steady, doubly check in. And just relax into that shot. Just, oof. just let it, the arrow shoot itself. As they say in the Zen book of archery, the arrow shoots itself. Meaning you get a surprise shot, you never know when it's going to go. So first end is pretty good for that. Maybe I need a really good warm up all the time. Give you a different camera angle this time. How about that? See how that goes. the target like I was talking about. Good form to start with. Ten. Crazy, the last video I was shooting so bad. What a difference just a little couple of things make. Like having that good form to start with, not too much back tension. Oh, that one. It was right in there. That's a good thing about having everything relaxed. When you do stuff up a little bit, it still goes in there for some reason. As soon as you start adding tension, everything just starts flying out willy-nilly. Ah, that was low. Oh, weasel eight. I felt that one was a bit funny. That was in there. I started low and tried to lean back into it, but everything got thrown out. The click went off, everything went weird. Only let the good ones go. Oh, just out in the nine.
That was in there. What better shoot than this is? What a difference, eh? So yeah, that major thing is just not too much tension. Trying to have the same amount of back tension the whole time, every time. All the way through, not over pulling. Not pulling too hard. Just trying and having that front bow hand relaxed. That's a major, major one, that one. Getting a bit low on the old batteries. So a quick battery change and then I'll have a few is in on what happened. All right, we're back, fresh battery. Let's go see this group. Low dodgy eight. So that was the one I think before form was out again. This was just, that's not a bad shot a centimeter out. That's all happy about that. Oh, but what's that? Four tens, a nine, and an eight for a 57. Can't be too happy about that. Too unhappy. So what's that? Um, four down. Two ends. Let's do six ends and see what we end up at. That was two, four to go. Not really worrying about my scores, I'm just worried about this good form. Doing everything right, my nose is still running. This flu, it's why I'm so down. It's killing me, it's like, oh, I'm so sick of being sick. Ridiculous. Hopefully I'm getting over it though. My cough's gone anyway, so that's a, that's a plus, I guess. Something. So just a nice follow through. That one was just bad. It's a seven. I don't know what happened then. Just wasn't concentrating. The police went off way too early. Didn't have every, any except. Every arrow's gotta be a good one. wide one, nine just out, right, it's a nine on the right side, now I'll probably lose it, two goods ends in them, don't worry about scores. Now they're all going to the right, what's going on there? Maybe the wind stopped. That was one of me low lifters again. I notice whenever I do one of the low lifters, that's what gets me stuck below the target. My four must be just set to be um, locked into um, the bottom nine. And then when I try and lift my arm, it just keeps wanting to drop back to where it naturally goes. So I've got to make sure that I keep that bow arm up to start with. Good form from the beginning.
I have no idea what happened then. That was like a right. That was a seven on the right. Three o'clock seven. Pretty weird. As soon as you start worrying about the scores, it's all in your head. Don't worry about the scores. That one was in there. That's all it is. As soon as you start worrying about the scores, the tension builds up. And as soon as you get a bit of tension anywhere, be a bit of tension in the back, in the shoulder, the front shoulder, the back shoulder, the front hand, the back hand, any tension anywhere from just thinking. Like as soon as you start to think about shit, like scores and oh, I want to hit a good score and oh, I want to do a good shot. I think as soon as you do that, everything just gets thrown out the window. At last show, I was just relax, just relax, do your thing. Dudley check in, start high, and bang, smash a 10. And the other ones, God, dude, I have them way out all over the place. See, because the last one I said, I'm going to start counting my scores now and see how we go. And what do I do? Freak out! Oh well. So I pulled it back together in the end. So here's the first, this was the first one, just wigged out. These are the second two, and this, this one, and this major right one, I don't know what happened there. And this was the last one, pulling myself back together. So is that the third end? What is this sequel? God only knows what that works out to be. But she's not a very high score, that's for sure. Ain't no 59. Alright, let's get back into it. Three to go. Three more ends anyway. So he's holding his camera up with me left hand, it'll be good training for me bow arm I guess. Constantly holding something up and out. Yeah, 70 metres, I'm definitely getting a lot of walking action happening anyway. Crazy. You shoot 18 metres all the time, it only takes two minutes to get to the target. And it takes like five minutes to walk down there. Okay, so just relax. Everything's set. Not too much pressure. The old Dudley check in. See how we go. one started low again low nine Just out of the 10 on the right side. That was just way off an eight.
Oh, we just scraped it in the ten. That was um, started low again, and man, I really noticed it. I just wanted to test it then. And that's what happens when you start low, you get stuck low. That one was a good one. High 10. Go check that out. I think it might be a bit of fatigue too because I'm that two weeks of the flu or the month of the flu that I had, whatever it was, ridiculous. I've still got it. Maybe I lost a lot of strength and conditioning. So I feel like I'm starting to crumble a bit now. Get that one dodgy one every now and again. If we've got to get that dodgy one out, just every shot's got to be a good shot. It's awesome I got a range to practice on again though, I guess. Back to that 90, it won't be long. We'll be smashing that 90, cleaning that 90, because I got that good at 90, I, could, I cleaned it. Now I'm lucky to hit gold at all. That's not too bad. 10, 10, 10, 9, 9. There's that dodgy one. Three turns anyway. A lot better than what I've been shooting. Is that the fourth one? I'm gonna have to get some new arrows too. Because I'm down to six arrows. That's all I got. Two ends to go and we smash six six ends and that'll be 72 arrows for the day as you've seen yesterday's video was today as well so if i try and do 72 arrows a day that should build myself back up get back up to the 144 because that's where you got to shoot the feet around in the, um, one of the feeder competitions it is 144 arrows a big day, it's a lot of shooting, majorly a lot of shooting. Yeah, let's give you a bit of a uh, behind the view again. How about that? Okay, so just relax, start high, and work your way down. Yeah, I started way low then, I don't know what I was thinking. Dodgy low eight. I've got to do a low one to start with. It's a low nine, but still, every time I start. Started low again. See, I think it's the fatigue. I think just when I start to get tired, I start start aiming here instead of aiming here. So when I draw back, I mean, I get to the target. I'm looking here, low on the target. So then I have to lift up, which isn't good. 
start high. Now that one I was pulling way too hard, I could feel it. As soon as I pull too hard, I just start doing this with me float. Just relax, Dudley check in. That's what makes a good shooter a good shooter, is being able to remember to do everything every time. Get it locked into that repertoire. That one was good, but I dropped out right at the last minute. Dudley check in, start high. That was a seven, I just, just think I flicked it out, I don't know what I did then, but something was off. Definitely starting to get fatigued. So I'm definitely gonna have to build up my match fitness again. It'll come, I guess. Punch that one a bit. I haven't hit 110 this round. Fatigue's kicking in. <sighs> that one dropped out on me so bad. Seven. So it is, it's just fatigue. I just need to start practicing more now that I'm better. Start doing 70 hours, as long as I do 72 hours every day. So then it should become easy and then I'll build myself back up to 90. And once I can smash 90, then I should be able to smash the 144. I suppose there's still a big difference between 90 and 144, ain't there? Because that's the arm. Um, that's where the competitions go. It goes like a 72 hour competition, a 90 hour competition, and a 144 hour competition. They're the three allotted amount of arrows for um, target competitions. I don't think there's any ones less than that, except for the British ones. The British ones start to get a bit crazy. How's that for spraying them everywhere? Nine, 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 eight, seven. God, it started so good now, I'm just crumbling. All right, one end to go. Let's see if I can pull myself together for this last end. The next video, guys, I promise I'll have the camera back on the target for you. We're going 4K soon. I'm gonna get a new camera. And we'll go 4K. Then we'll be laughing. Because this 4K camera I want to get um, runs, I think, um, 120 frames at 1080p. So that means we can get some mad slow mo crap happening as well. As well as the 4K all the time. So that's going to be good. So hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. See how we go. Because I've saved up a bit of money. I can either buy a new bow or buy a new camera for you guys. Make the videos a bit better for you. I'm seeing I've already got a bow. I don't really need a new bow. Might as well just get a new camera. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think I should get a new bow or should I get a new camera and step it up a bit, make a bit better quality for you guys? Because a camera will make it 10 times easier for me as well. All right, quick time stop. So yeah, let me know in the comments. If you um, think I should get a new camera or a new bow. <laughs> All right, last end. Let's see if I can pull together this one.
keep dropping out. Just must be fatigue. Oh, just into the eight, six o'clock. nine. I think now that I'm trying to force it to hold it up so much I'm flicking them up when I do because that was on. But because I had so much tension holding it up I think I was out. Flicked it up. on the 10 line. I was a lot more relaxed that one. You just got to be relaxed. Yep. Low nine. Dropping out. Yeah, fatigue's getting me. That one was in there. Do you know what it is too? I think when I get lazy, I get a bit too, not enough heel pressure in me bow hand. It'll keep that even pressure. Just a fraction low. So that's it. So that's definitely my problem now, it's just fatigue. I'm just gonna have to get me match fitness back up. Let's see how we go. God, it's nice being able to shoot big long distances again though. 70 meters, that pin wobbles around like no tomorrow, let me tell you. So, oh, I nearly got them all gold, I nearly got an old gold anyway, nearly. Let's go check it out. There's low ones, I keep just dropping them low. So you can see, here's me three low ones, how's this? First one I shot, oh it's on the nine, it's an all gold end anyway. So I've got nine, 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 ten, ten, nine for a 56. Not too bad I guess, but yeah you can tell I'm dropping out. Just struggling holding them up. Alright guys, so that's uh, me to, for today. Hope you liked it. You know what to do if you did. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for another one. And make sure um, if you need any sites or anything, make sure you check out Brightside and Archery Supplies in South Australia, archeryshop.com.au. Make sure um, you check them out and get your archery supplies from there. All right, guys, I'll see you soon in the next one.